What? I'm dead? I'm not dead? I'm not dead? You're talking about? Yeah, like she's like, I'm not dead? Stop lagging to me, come on, you finally back home? I love you, you know, yeah, she's just like, hey boyfriend. <laughs> I'm not dead? I feel this is the true love, right? I do feel the sister, you know, me, yeah, me, I think she has no chance of winning. She is the, the love of his life, right? Yeah, the, uh, I think she's gonna be net to rare. I mean, you saw that for that episode. Now she's like, Shimpe, you're back with me. And yeah. Um, you! Here we go. I love you. See? Yeah. I love you, Yimpe. I love you. <laughs> See? I keep. And he said it, right? She's like, I love you. <laughs> I'm not dead. I love you. <laughs> I mean, I love you. <laughs> she's like. What about that knife? Yeah, that has to be the shadow. Taste it, you know, he's like, um... Uh, I'm telling you, you're dead. I'm not dead, I love you. <laughs> it's like a really weird dialogue here. He basically, she's like, yeah, what? But of course, he's gonna be all like, oh, what's happening? No, I'm pretty... <laughs> oh my god! What's happening? Yeah, I love it. She's freaking ganky, man. <laughs> here we go. No wonder he loves her. She's crazy and sexy. <laughs> no wonder he loves her. <laughs> See, that's great. <laughs> what is this? Oh, that was a great sucker punch. That was maybe, maybe. But well, she's so ganky. I love it. Yeah. Give me the phone. <laughs> oh, Neto Rare. Neto Rare. <laughs> I was talking to my sister. She's like, oh shit, she's not Neto Rare. She's cute. I said, do I, do I? Better try next time. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, guys. Be like, you're dead, right? I mean, you obviously know it's her, right? That's clearly your dead, dead girl, right? Yeah. Huh? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm the older, I'm a Sailor Moon character. <laughs> she's a great cat. She's the six, she's secret best girl of the season, man. <laughs> Here we go. She's gonna explain. <laughs> Stop it already. But now I feel like her memory is broken here. What's happening? That enemy so confusing. She, because that was like her part. What? He's the murderer this time? I guess? But who's the protagonist then? He's the unreliable narrator. Who's the protagonist then? Who's the who's the character? Because yeah, now he's the traitor, but who's the protagonist? His enemy is all over the place. I don't know what's happening anymore. Oh, someone shoots her? Who's coming in now? That episode's crazy! Suddenly someone shotgun her. What? Who is this guy there? Probably this episode. Oh, it's her? It's Boob Loop? She's alive? So, hello everybody. Goddamn summertime in episode 4. She was crazy. Blood girl's alive, you know what? Sister, she's back. Um, she's probably alive somehow, right? I keep saying though, I expect to come back with the reviver. Oh, man, that is so good. Actually, one thing we were watching, affordedly, this is, might be someone trolling, right? But affordedly, I got some spoiler comments last week, and that's affordedly always doing anime stuff. I really, I rarely talk about it very rarely, because it keeps happening, right? And you talk about it. But there's two kinds of spoilers. Last review, I got some comments that were spoilery. I hope they are spoilery, but like, you know what I mean. I won't say because they wrote right, and wouldn't, of course. But, it's like, that's almost the worst kind of spoiler I've had last week, because sometimes you get spoilers, right? People just comment and they're like, this is a traitor, you know what I mean? He's spoiled because he's like, ha ha, I spoiled you, right? And you can't actually ignore it, right? But all the times you get these comments, people are like, oh, you think that's a good twist? Wait until you see this twist, right? That they kind of, they want to hype you up, right? Yeah. I have to say, you know, really be careful with those kind of comments, right? Because I see in all the animes and manga so on too, and people are spoiling, not for, not for me, but for other, you know, whatever, you know, movie, readers, viewers, gamers, whatever, right? Because it's like, it's one thing, for example, uh, when I had when I was doing Black Clover stuff, I was thinking Black Clover, yeah. So when I was doing Black Clover anime, I had the manga, right? Uh, people were like, oh my god, if you think Noel is a cool female character, wait until you get Melona. Like that's a fine, you know, comment, right? That doesn't spoil it to me. You're just telling me that oh, you, you like this female character? Oh, <laughs> you really gonna like the next female character? I mean, that's just a great comment. Right? That's hyping up for the next female wife, right? But if someone is like. Oh, you think that Noelle's powers is good? That this current power? Wait until you get this armor and this thing and then you can do this thing, right? That's gonna be even hyper. That's like, yeah, I guess it's high, but you're also telling me what's gonna happen with your powers, right? Then you're spoiling, right? I mean, there's a big difference, right? 
Uh, and I felt that the last comments we had with this anime, fortunately, they were kind of, I think, this is a good twist, wait till you see this twist, right? So I hope you're just trolling, but you know what I mean, it's, it's unfortunate, it happens all the time, unfortunately, or all the time, but it happens too often, of course, too often it happens, right? And I think that, I say it here again, right, really seriously, like, please don't do those kind of comments, right, where you're actually kind of like just, because, I mean, again, the difference between some people that are just, you know, douchebags, I just want to spoil people because they're douchebags, right? whatever, right? yeah. Those people, you can't talk to them, right? It doesn't matter, right? But the last comments I removed, they were kind of more like, you know, someone is like, oh, this is my favorite manga, and this is the best twist or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, they, they, they obviously kind of like, this person obviously liked the anime, right, and the manga, uh, but they're still spoiling, right? They're like, this is my favorite character, and she's gonna be alive, and she's gonna kill him or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's like, okay, I get it, you like the anime, but you're also telling me what's gonna happen, right? But anyway, let's start watching it, but I want to say it again. I'd rather talk about it, but... I use those kind of comments, I feel like those comments shouldn't be right. There's one thing, again, that you have people that are douchebags spoiling on purpose, right? But people that are hype spoiling, yeah, come on, you should, don't, I mean, hype the anime. I, this is my, my favorite anime season, so please hype the anime. Please like the video and everything like that, but don't, like, you know, hype spoil, right? That, but I see it all the time. I always get a few comments, you know, per season, that are hype spoiling. Oh, you think this character is good? Wait until she gets power. You know I mean? Yeah, like, oh, I mean, I get it, but you're also telling me what's gonna happen. But anyway, let's watch episode so three, two, one, and go. But yeah, that was a pretty bad. It was two, three comments. That was pretty bad. Honestly, I never remove comments that have been spoiled. I never remove. If someone tells me I'm fat or whatever, you know what I mean? I never remove that. The only thing I remove is spoiler comments, of course. And I wish I had to do a lot, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Here she is. She's alive! And she's gonna be like, hey, boyfriend, no, oh, yeah, I don't know. She doesn't seem to know she's dead. Shinpei! Nice. Got some ass here. Nice. Some fan service. But she seems to be like, hey, boyfriend! Yeah, she got the necklace now that he got. So this one is maybe not a timeline or something? He's like, shut away! <laughs> you tried to kill me, woman? <laughs> exactly. You tried to murder me, aren't you? What? I'm dead? I'm not dead! I'm not dead! You're talking about? Yeah, like she's like, I'm not dead! Stop liking to me, come on, you finally back home? I love you, you know, yeah, she's just like, hey boyfriend! <laughs> I'm not dead! I'm alive! Maybe it's another time version, right? And maybe the older one is dead. Yeah. <laughs> I love the surprise, me. Huh? But I'm not dead, I'm alive! <laughs> so... Man, this anime is gonna be... Definitely gonna be a mind-effing anime. This is this anime. <laughs> See? I keep saying that's the scene! I keep saying episode 2, right? That's what I keep saying. When episode 2 happened, when they kinda died in the water, that's clearly where it started, right? Yeah. She's like, yeah, I got some weird memories from that flashback when we almost drowned, right? Exactly what I keep saying. That's probably where they got affected or whatever, right? Because they almost, yeah, they almost drowned in this. Exactly, because you almost drowned here. <laughs> As a lion, the one that dies. <laughs> I remember dying, but I didn't die. <laughs> what? As a lion, <laughs> like I'm fine. <laughs> but it's good because you see more of a character. You can see more of a personality, right? Before she was just a dead Anohana girl, right? I mean, you know what I mean. And, and now she's more like, we get we get to see her. Yeah, she's kind of genki. She's like, ah, shut up! I'm not dead. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm too alive. Hmm. But I feel this is the true love, right? I do feel the sister. You know me. Yeah, me. I think she has no chance of winning. She is the the love of his life, right? Yeah. The, uh, I think she's gonna be net rare. I mean, you saw that for that episode. Now she's like, Shimpe, you're back with me, and yeah, um, this figure is the main love story, right? Yeah, like, mm, mm. It's also kind of beautiful now, they're watching, you know, Hanabi together. It's very classic Japanese romance, that you're watching, watching the Hanabi together. Yeah, oh, I like you! Here we go, I love you! See? Yeah, I love you, Yimpe, I love you! <laughs> See? I keep, I said it, right? She's like, I love you! <laughs> I'm not dead, I love you! <laughs> so, yeah, but I said it. I'm just like, you know, she's gonna be like... I just feel sorry for her, right, you know? I just, I honestly, I, I really feel sorry for 
her sister, right? We saw in last episode how she clearly had like, oh, I can finally, you know, be with him. I mean, she's dead, so, you know, I can be with him. I can, you know, get in some flirt here on the festival. And then she walks by, right? She's like, oh, dead sister! He runs away from her and he's, he's run past her. She's like, but, but what about me? I'm also cute and sexy and I'm a tan, I'm a tan beauty, you know. I got the Kuro style, yeah. Uh, and run, run past her, right? So that was a massive natural scene, of course, when he just uh, uh, ignored her, right, basically. Uh, that being said, though, like I said the last year, I said it again, right? Of course, I would also run past if, if I'm talking to my you know current girlfriend, right? And like my dead girlfriend walked past, you know, or my dead wife, whatever. Like basically, here's my wife that died here ten years ago. I would also be like, ah, that's my dead wife. I would also probably ignore my current wife or girlfriend if my if, if a zombie version of my wife walked past. I'd be like. What, right? Just from the general, just like, uh, isn't she dead? So, um, in that sense though, but, but still, I, I feel she has no chance, I feel the love is between them. I do feel she can't beat, she was like, I love you, yeah, she said it here too, and I do feel that he loves, um, that he already decided who he's in love I, I do feel that he's decided who he's in love with, right? Here we go, I love you! Yeah, she loves me? <laughs> I'm alive and I love you. <laughs> yeah, come on. But you're dead. I'm, I'm dead and I'm in love with you. <laughs> you might be heaven, right? It's like, what? Uh, but again, I, I see the last thing. This is the. Uh, the poor girl, she has no chance. He clearly loves her back the most, right? Yeah, he loves her the most. But let's see if they can save her then, because, I mean, they're time traveling. So it might be other time where she's alive, and maybe, you know, as I said earlier, maybe she's dead instead. Maybe the older sister is dead in the other time traveling. Maybe it's like, yeah, maybe someone else dies. Hmm. The issue, though, of her being alive in another time, in another time version is that the reason he's back at the island is because she's dead, right? So if she's going to be alive in this, in another time loop, someone else has to basically be dead. Oh, well, that's the reason he's back, right? That's what I'm thinking, that she might be alive in another version, but then the older person has to be dead as he comes back home. Yeah, or else they have to rewrite even more, right? Like, I don't know. But she's very in love with him, but yeah, or else they have to rewrite... Yeah, Hayaku! But again, this is... yeah. The... She has no chance. These two are clearly the love of the... This is the main love story, clearly. The dead girl love story. <laughs> a lot of fan service though, yeah, because your ass there. <laughs> yeah, not this scene, but this scene before you got something in her butt there, where she was like in there just jumping up and down in her bat suit, and we saw her ass like wobbling, so. But I do like it that we get to see her, yeah, way more, you know, like her personality, right? Obviously, very Genki, very forthcoming. <laughs> oh, might be some rivalry here? Hmm. I definitely think it's gonna be some... Oh, is that Shadow? That's probably the other one, though. Yeah, she's like, oh, knives? <laughs> she's like, what about that knife? Yeah, that has to be the Shadow. She's like, what if I get that knife there? Uh, which I guess is trying to kill... Even though she's... Or then she disappears suddenly, so that has to be the Shadow, but... <laughs> no, she's sulking here. What are you so weird for? We're having like, a cute date. It's like, you're dead. You're like, no, we're dating. Please, uh, you know, have a cute Roman date with me. <laughs> it is adorable now that she's just like getting all salty over it. Like, why, why don't you want a date with me? Why, why don't you want to have a date with me? He's like, you're a zombie. I'm not a zombie. We're having a date here. Yeah, it's like tasting, right? It's like, uh, I'm telling you, you're dead. I'm not dead. I love you. <laughs> it's like a really weird dialogue here. He <laughs> basically, she's like, yeah, what? But of course he's gonna be all like, oh, what's happening? No, I'm pretty. <laughs> oh my god, what's happening? Yeah, I love it. She's freaking Genki, man. <laughs> Here we go. No wonder he loves her. She's crazy and sexy. <laughs> no wonder he loves her. <laughs> she was crazy. <laughs> what is this? Oh, that was a great sucker punch. That was may maybe anime's great sucker punch. I love the eyes. In fact, I don't like One Piece. If you ask for One Piece, but if you have seen, you know, 
Uh, the Kaido face, yeah, the Luffy Kaido face. You know what I'm talking about, you're in one piece. <laughs> the, the mask face, yeah, with the, the eyes like that. Uh, but, um, I obviously, I, I was I'm confused, but, like, of course, I have no idea what's going on here in Miami Only. It's like, how is she alive in this version, right? I, yeah, who knows? And she seemingly has nobody. I like, I'm always been alive. Yeah, she's like, shut up. I, I never died. Yeah, she, she seemingly has no idea how she's alive, right? Basically, it isn't like she's the the medical thing we saw in the time wars thing. Yeah, who's calling you? Denva. <laughs> but she's so genki. I love it. Yeah, give me the phone. <laughs> oh, Neto rare. Neto rare. <laughs> I was talking to my sister. It's like, oh shit, she's not Neto rare. She's like. You two doing it? Oh my god, the Netherrealm. Was that my sister? No, uh, no, it couldn't be. She's dead. I'm not cheating on you with your sister. Yeah, right. Yeah, she's dead, right? Yeah, I'm not sleeping with her. <laughs> no, but it's clearly a lot of Netherrealm. I mean, obviously, both sisters are in love with the main character. I mean, they, they all they all grew up together and they're both in love with him. I mean, it's obvious. Yeah, like it's. It's always, there's gonna be a continuous story element, of course, that they are, they both wanna smash him, yeah, that's gonna be, <laughs> she's super genki though, I love it, she's really alive, yeah, she's, she's genki and sulking and salty, she's a very, very pouting all the time, she's a great, great, big and best girl, man, come in here. Yeah, no, she's sitting there sulking and, <laughs> she's a great girl, man, she's really, really salty, I love it. Yeah, pouting his helmet. Bastard. <laughs> the wedding out of a romantic date finally. Yeah, she's super. And I was like, hey, hey, hey uh, girlfriend. Yeah, I'm not doing your sister in secret, no. But why would she think she's dead, though? So, you know, why would she believe that, right? Yeah, he was just taking a dump, you know. Yeah, yeah. He's doing go. Heh, heh. So the bonfire, of course, very Japanese culture, right? You gotta, oh, interesting. Maybe it jumps into, hmm, like some seeding out there. Then. I mean, it is a classic, you know, island with medical horror shit, right? So it's, yeah, maybe it's what, what they have done. But you have to wonder, I mean, the old man is like, this has been happening before on the island. So you have to kind of wonder, right, if it's some... If it's some, you know, classic mystery, right, that maybe all the people have experienced this thing before, right, you know, previewed for probably. The thing about it, most of the characters, they're focused on young adults, right, um, which means that probably other people that are older have experienced the same uh, thing, maybe their grandfather or, you know, something else has been in a similar situation, right, pretty common for this kind of horror setting. We haven't seen the she's hmm. We do have the shadow version of her running around too. We saw it with the knife there, right? So I'm thinking that someone's gonna get killed eventually here. You know, so if it feels like it's been a it's been a while since someone got murdered, right? The first half they kind of set up the I'm alive, most mostly characterized uh, the dead girl. We obviously she's been dead before, so I haven't really seen. <laughs> But I feel someone's gonna die at any moment now, seriously. I feel like someone's gonna come and stab them at any moment. So he wants me to use Sean, but it would be good for her then. She can uh, swap what she's interested in. Oh, here we go. I'm very confessional. Ooh. It's a very confessional episode here. Everyone's in love with everyone. But she's like, I'm in love with other guy though. It's a very net episode because she clearly isn't loving it. Yeah, she's like, no, I don't love you back, right? Obviously, she's gonna be like, oh, sorry, but I'm in love with him. Uh oh, he's gonna get turned down, that poor guy. Here we go, she's gonna turn him down. Oh, yeah, it's like, I am in. 
Demo! Bot! I'm happy, bot! Demo! It's like, yeah. <laughs> it suddenly she comes in here with a weird, like, power, yeah, it's like a Sailor Moon power puff mask. <laughs> do my! <laughs> Don't worry, do my, do my! Give me some high IQ, I said, do my, do my! Better try next time! <laughs> what is this? Yay, guys! Be like, you're dead, right? I mean, you obviously know it's her, right? That's clearly your dead, dead girl, right? Yeah. Huh? No, I'm not! I'm, I'm the Northern, I'm a Sailor Moon character! <laughs> she's a great cat. She's the six she's secret best girl of the season, man. <laughs> Here we go. Can I explain? <laughs> Stop it already. <laughs> no, I'm the justice defender. What's happening? She's like, no one can see it. I mean, yeah, no one can recognize me in this, in this mask, right? An amazing disguise, truly. I love that. Do I do I? Because <laughs> they're like, don't worry, boy. It's it's all fine. She's pissed off now, though, of course. Took my boyfriend, and you're alive. You lied to me. Or she's the shadow or something. I, I don't know. No, I think she's pissed off because she was in love. Exactly. You monster! You're dead! Coming back here, stealing my boyfriend? Oh, oh the natural. That was hardcore natural. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> the episode is so natural. That's what she's gonna kill her for. This time she's gonna get killed because. This time the shadow was gonna kill her. <laughs> so it doesn't need a shadow to murder this episode. This episode she's gonna kill him without being a shadow. Okay, maybe she's a shadow then. Wait, is this, is this a clone of... But is this still alive, the other one? But now I feel like her memory is broken here. What's happening? This anime is so confusing. She, because now it's like her part. What? He's the murderer this time? I guess? But who's the protagonist then? This unreliable narrator, who's the protagonist then? Who's the who's the character? Because yeah, now he's the traitor, but who's the protagonist? His anime is all over the place. I don't know what's happening anymore. The guy said he's the murderer in this in his first, but who didn't we see it from his Okay. Okay, okay, I guess before he took it okay, so we, we we did see it. I guess he got killed by her when he was running. Okay, I guess he just got killed before he ran up the stairs. So he was the we did see it from his eyes. And then I guess he got killed here, right? Going up to the stairs to her at the bonfire. And then he got replaced, I guess. Who did she kill, though? She killed someone else. I mean, obviously, yeah, but... He, he killed someone else down there, but... But I guess he got replaced here, of course. Um, yeah. My God, it's out of God damn it! Don't... No, no, but he obviously he get killed here and then he gets replaced by her, of course, but... <laughs> but I was like, yeah, but yeah, okay. Um, most of the episode was true, though. We saw it from his eyes. It, it wasn't like he was replaced just before he killed him, yeah. He... That was good. If she was the one faking it, that she was with, you know, her the whole episode. So basically the first, like, 15 minutes were, roughly speaking, were him, and then he got replaced just before he went up to the hill here, yeah, so... Most of it was uh, true. Okay, she killed. Oh, she killed a lot of people. Okay, she killed a lot of people. Like, I guess he massacred like a freaking like six, seven people there. Freaking. Um, I mean, she did really like that knife after all. So, but he's obviously gonna die here again. Take over his body, and then go up and grab her, where she comes in that like medical girl mask. Oh, he's already replaced. Oh, what? 
Men det är obviously like cloning, but I mean, okay, so now they have... Oh, he got copied, um... Yeah, but okay, okay. So he got copied at that moment. Interesting. Yeah, so he got copied in the hallway with the creepy girl in the last episode. Hmm. In that classic Asoboya near scene. But I think that's not unnecessary because this is a little redundant because she also kissed him now anyway. Honestly, a little redundant, right? Because yes, okay, he got copied in the hallway, but now she also kills him here at the, at the staircase. She can cope him here too, right? Yeah, she can cope him here as well, right? Or what? Not gonna kill him? What? None day indeed. Why won't we kill him for? What's the point of killing him before there is... What? It's interesting that the shadows have their own personalities though. Yeah, that the shadows aren't just like one, how to call it, like a Borg mind or whatever. Like they don't have a high mind. They don't have their own high mind. They also have like, no, I don't want to kill him yet. Yeah, so they, 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 I, I think most interesting is probably the shadows are in a conflict then. Not necessarily not a team, but I mean, before it felt like they just had the same brain or whatever. Like they just clone self and so on. But they clearly have like, no, I don't want to kill him yet. So, so, they, so they do have their own individual, you know, ideas or whatever, right? They are still on the same side, I mean, but they're not like, you know, they, they clearly have your own um, agendas to some extent, right? That's, that's something they do. No, but that could be really important later, right? Because maybe you can team up with the Shadow. I'm just throwing it out there, but maybe, right? Because they might be like, I hate this Shadow, but I don't want to be, yeah, maybe the Shadows can have their own opinions about stuff, right? Perhaps. Um, but at least you see here that, yeah, they, they are... Working together, but at the same time, they also have a disagreement, right, on what they, what they should do, right? They have to talk about, like, oh, I should go up there and do this thing and so on. Yeah, they clearly have... Uh... He's probably gonna die, though, right? I mean, yeah, he could be alive now, but... Yeah, then they're gonna have to kill them. It's very scene, of course. Oh, 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 yeah. Well, I guess the show the shadow has physical strength too. I just think about it, yeah. Show that the shadow has physical strength because she easily just broke his arm like nothing. So we haven't really seen her. We haven't seen how the shadow do like superhuman feats before. They be kind of just stab people in the background, but this, this clearly shows that she has like uh, physical strength, you know, beyond uh, a normal human strength. Oh, her legs too now. Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be freaking brutal. I'm gonna see this shit. Oh man, yeah, oh god, this is gonna be like, she kinda keeps breaking his arm and legs and... Oh, it's like a torture death scene. No, if it's very El Ciro here, if it's very Subaru now here, we're gonna have the rabbit eating him alive or something. Oh, someone shoots her? Who's coming in now? That episode's crazy! Suddenly someone shotgun her. What? Who is this guy there? Probably this episode. Oh, it's her? It's Boob Loop? Oh, here we go. Boob Loop appears. I will call Boob Loop first to say, I can Boob Loop is back, baby! The shotgun! Now the app is crazy! His anime is so happy crazy! He's like, Boob Loop, girls! He's like, oh my god, it's Boob Loop with the shotgun! He's just like, oh my god, I remember your boobs! <laughs> See? That's what I keep saying, he's like, Boob Loop, girl! Like, what else is gonna remember? I remember multiple of those boobs! <laughs> His immediate memory is like, that's the girl I boobed! <laughs> that's the girl I drowned her titties! Uh, it's gonna be a long review, this time is so mad. It's my happy Anyway, see so you guys and have a great day. Uh, check out what's called Demon. Uh, Demon comment.